My name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. My dear old faithful workshop vacuum machine died the other day and I've had to replace it. But I wanted to replace it with something that would do more than just the general workshop cleanups, which the old machine had been doing. I wanted something that would provide me with all the vacuum power I needed for my new router table. So I've gone for the pneumatic NDD 900, and I've got it here. I'm going to tell you why. And let's have a quick look at the anatomy of the machine. At the top here is the powerful 2,400 watt motor unit. It's got an on-off switch here, and there's a second on-off switch which controls the power to the auxiliary socket. I'll talk more about this in a minute. Now that motor produces an airflow of 76 litres per second, or if you like, that's 4,560 liters a minute. The tank capacity is 40 liters and it weighs a total of 24 kilograms. The standard bag which I use for woodwork is this HEPA flow bag and there's a little port here and that fits over the inner side of this nozzle here and what you see sticking out here is this piece of uh, tape which uh, helps keep everything in place when the motor unit is fixed. Now that's good for woodwork, but if you are doing something really disgusting, like uh, plaster work or chasing out mortar, then you could go for this microflow uh, bag, which is basically, it feels like a big pillow. It's got so much filtration and padding in here. Now if we take a look inside, take the motor unit off and put it to one side, you have the main filter, and then you have uh, the bag, which is fitted. And I'll remove this bag. It fits over an extension of this port, which is on the inside. And here on the inside of the tank is a louvered plastic element, which allows the flow of air through the bag uh, to continue even when the machine is working flat out. It stops the bag being pressed up against uh, the side of the barrel. And when fitting a new bag, uh, one pushes this uh, rubberized uh, little section over uh, the end of the boss and you get it all the way in, so it's perfectly set, and then have this hanging over the edge, which will then get trapped when you put the filter back in and you put the motor unit in place. And that's it done. Just here is a fuse, which is used to protect the auxiliary socket, and there is a red indicator which when the machine is running and if it detects that the bag is full and the flow is reduced, it will blink red. And if there's a fault, it will glow red continuously. And I can demonstrate that. Now this is the standard hose provided with the kit and also provided with it is the sweep up tool which connects very simply onto the end of the standard hose like so. Now the machine has large mobility wheels at the back together with caster wheels at the front so it's very maneuverable. Now the machine is switched on with this switch but if I switch the auxiliary switch first and then turn the machine on, nothing happens. But if I plug a tool into the auxiliary socket and then turn the tool on, the machine then runs. And then also it overruns for a few seconds after you switch the tool off. And this goes perfectly with my new router table using this additional hose which I've had to get. And I've also got an adapter here so it connects 
to my dust box. And that's a perfect combination. Now I know that a lot of people seeing a 100 millimeter connector would just turn to an ordinary chip extractor for a job like this. But I might be machining MDF. I certainly machine a lot of hardwoods. And I really do want to make sure all that fine dust gets taken care of. Now some chip extractors can have a fine filter cartridge. But for me, the NDD900 is the perfect solution. Now let me just take you through the decision-making process that led to the NDD900 being in my workshop. I have here the NVD750, uh, which is a machine I bought from Axminster Power Tools a long time ago, and of course it's made by Pneumatic. You can see the similarity. This has got a 100 millimeter connector here, and I use this with my planing machine and my bandsaw. And you may recall that I have a, a cyclone which does the interception, so uh, most of the rubbish goes into a drop box and it doesn't end up inside the tank here. So it's perfect for those tasks. But this resides in the other part of the workshop. And I need a machine in this half, which I could use with the new writer table, but also be used for general workshop cleanups. Now the next advantage in getting this machine is that it takes the same HEPA flow bags that I have for this machine. So they share the same type of bag. Now, although I don't use so many of these bags because I've got the Cyclone, I did buy rather a lot when I bought this machine, so that was a factor. Now, the running cost of machines is very important. And a bag like this costs about £1.50 when you buy them in 10s or 20s at a time. And I need one of these about once a month. Well, that's not too bad. But there are other extractors which I'm familiar with uh, where the bags cost closer to £5 each and using one of those a month starts to become significant, really. And so £1.50, it's a good deal. Well, that's it. That's my introduction to the pneumatic NDD 900. It's a nice, robust machine. It's going to take a lot of knocks and give you many years of service. It's also very versatile. I'm going to be using it with my UJK writer table, and I'll be able to use it around the workshop for my cleanups. It can also be used dedicated to individual power tools. But let me just remind you that that auxiliary socket is only one kilowatt of power. And the reason for that is simple. In the UK, uh, we have a 13 amp power supply. The motor is already running at 2.4 kilowatts, hence the limitation on that outlet. Now, I think this is a pretty good machine. It's inexpensive to run because those bags at £1.50 a pop or cheaper are absolutely great value for money. So, this is it for me. And this has got the added advantage that as I get older, I'll be able to use it to get myself around the workshop. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>